What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Teen mom to grandma Barbara Evans is now setting the record straight after her daughter Janelle Evans this weekend caused a huge uproar when she claimed on her TikTok account to have regained custody of her younger brother Jace. The first two seasons of Teen Mom 2 have been on Netflix for the past couple of weeks and so Janelle has been doing her best to ride the coattails off of that and to gain as much of the new audience as possible. So on her TikTok account she's done a lot of videos about the show including rehashing her reunion confrontation with Nessa and um, you know it's kind of crazy because this is the same show that she begs people to stop associating her with and it's like okay sis stop talking about it anyway over the weekend she posted a video discussing the lack of royalties that she receives from the show being judged for past mistakes and claiming to have gained custody of Jace so take a look at the video and then we'll discuss everything when we get back let's do a little PSA announcement you're probably watching Teen Mom on Netflix right now as we speak. And if you are, good. That was the old me. That was the young me. The stupid me. The me that took risk. Now, let's not sit here 10 years later and come to my page and hate on me for my mistakes that I learned from. Let's not get caught up on the $200 you let me use to bail me out of jail. Let's not get caught up on the dumbass men that I dated. I have custody of Jace. He lives with me now full time. My kids are happy. They're healthy. That's all that fucking matters. But I totally get it. I would hate me too if I was watching me. But if you catch up with me now, I'm doing a lot better, you guys. Peace, love, happiness, bitches. Before we even touch the Jace custody situation, I personally think Teen Mom 2's earlier seasons being on Netflix is actually a good thing for Janelle because it shows a lot of us how badly Barbara sabotaged her from the very beginning. You know, I break down the episodes in live recaps with my channel members. Hit the join button down below if you want to join. Shameless plug. And we unanimously think that Barbara was a lot worse than we initially remembered. Like she was horrible to Janelle. So it's not surprising that Janelle wound up where she is now. So you would think that she would kind of like be writing that kind of a coattail like oh my god I'm a little bit vindicated at the very least anyway Barbara wasn't too impressed with Janelle's claims so she released a statement to TMZ debunking her claims she said that Jace actually started going back and forth between her house and Janelle's house for a change of scenery over the pandemic with all the homeschooling that he's been doing and so now he's at Janelle's house three or four days at a time which is about half the week so that's quite a lot but that doesn't mean that they are overnight visits or anything like that Barbara just says that listen change the scenery and and to help with him doing his schoolwork. And then he goes over back to her home as well. And she also says that she confronted Janelle about her custody comments, and then Janelle claimed that she misspoke, but I'm not buying it. You don't just quote unquote misspeak about having legal custody of a whole child, <laughs> you know? Like, I think she really just wanted to um, rehab her image in front of this new audience of teenagers who are now watching Teen Mom 2 for the very first time. And of course, listen, you can't lie about these sorts of things, especially because it is such a huge, serious allegation to levy against Barbara because, you know, Janelle and David are still incredibly hated amongst not only the Teen Mom universe, but the general D to Z list celebrity universe as well. Um, you know, for all of the issues that they've been having with every single last one of their children. The, her issues, do not only revolve around Jace, you know, like she's trying to make people believe. This woman lost temporary custody of all of her children at one point, and that is alarming. So for her to claim that Barbara just woke up one day and gave her custody of Jace is a huge insult to Barbara, right? Because people would definitely question her judgment. But at the same time, listen, Barbara is in her 70s now, I believe it is. And like, you know, she doesn't only have custody of Jace. I believe she's also got custody of her other grandchild, Gabriel. Um, of course, in the middle of this pandemic, everybody is at home all the time. The kids are both homeschooling. It's hard enough watching them after you send them to school, then you have to watch them after, and then like in the mornings and stuff like that too, and the weekends but 24-7, 365 is a lot for a woman her age to handle. So I don't blame her trying to, you know, kind of give herself a little bit of breathing room every now and again. It doesn't seem like she's giving them overnight visits or anything like that. She's saying he's doing his schoolwork there, then coming right back home. Maybe that helps her give Gabriel a little bit more attention. I don't know, but listen, I wish there were a better option for Jace than the swamp of horrors, but unfortunately life just isn't fair sometimes, you know? Anyway, you guys, what do you think about this story, Janelle? 
claiming to have regained custody of Jace and Barbara sending him over to Janelle's place three to four days out of the week. Uh, make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.